Okay, so I need to give a public speech. And I know I want to create an outline because I don't know exactly what I'm going to say. So I know my main points, but I want to create an outline and I want to create a great speech. How do I do it? That's what we're talking about today. Hey, I'm Ryan McLean and I'm from publicspeakingpower.com where we teach people like you how to become a better, more effective and more powerful public speaker. So today I've got the seven steps to creating a public speaking speech outline. That's a mouthful. Say that seven times fast. Public speaking speech outline, public speaking speech outline. Okay, tip number one is the brain dump. All right, what we want to do here is we're not creating a structure, we're not putting things in order, we're just dumping everything from our brain on the topic. So let's say we're talking about global warming. All right, think, get a piece of paper, write down on the piece of paper any ideas that you have, any stories that you have that go with the topic, any facts that you know or websites that you've heard of or experiences that other people have had or beliefs that you have, just write down all the things that you can think of that have to do with global warming or whatever topic it is that you're talking about. Then we move on to step number two once you've done that brain dump, which should take you probably about five to 15 minutes. So we've done the brain dump. Number two is to start doing research. So we've done our brain dump. We haven't organized anything yet. Now we're gonna take the extra step of we're gonna go and do some research. So the brain dump is everything out of our mind and now we wanna go on the internet, we wanna hit up Google and we wanna do some research on our topic so that we can add to our brain dump uh, things from the internet and research that we've learned. So obviously our minds are limited, so we're only gonna know so many things, but we can get some great facts, we can get some great ideas, some great stories, some great news articles or examples from the internet or from go to a library if you know of one. I don't know where a library is. But yeah, so we're doing research. So we're adding to our total content pool. Number three is to gather. So now we're gathering everything together in a big bundle and we're just making sure that we've got our brain dump, we've got our uh, research from the internet, and so we're kind of organizing, not organizing that research, but we're collecting it all together and so we're putting it all in one place so we can see it all at once and recognize it all at once. Tip number four, or step number four, is to start organizing. So now we want to start thinking about what are the main points that we want to get across in our presentation and we want to start looking at the data that we've collected both from our brain dump and the research and look at ways that firstly they connect with each other. So how does an experience I have connect with a fact that I found on the internet? Okay, so we want to use these in sync together and we also want to look at when we're organizing what stories best support a point that I want to get across and what facts or research from the internet uh, best support a point I want to get across. So now we're starting to organize our brain dump and our research underneath main points in our presentation. And so we are also in this step creating our outline or a rough draft of our outline by using all the stuff that we have. So you can go back to my previous video if you want to learn more about a public speaking outline example, but we just looked at introduction, body, conclusion, and so you're organizing things and where you want them to go. Tip number five is to start removing items. So some of the best speeches that I've ever heard had one point. One point, and why are they the best? Because I actually remembered them. When someone gives a speech and they say, look, I'm going to give you the 30 steps to success. You're going to deliver me 30 steps in 30 minutes? Are you serious? That is way too confusing for me. Give me one step to success and maybe I'll walk away from it. You're lucky if people remember 5% of what you're going to say in a public speech. So if you create everything around one point, well then at least if they remember one story or they remember one fact or they remember one quote, then it all points towards the one message you want to get across. We don't want to try and do too much, so that's why step number five is to start removing items. Look at the points you want to get across and work out, is this really essential? 
Do I really need to get this across? Does this really need to be a part of it? Does it have to be the seven steps to create a public speaking speech outline like I have? Or can it be the five steps? Can it be the three steps? Can it be the one tip? What's going to be more effective for our audience to get the message across and help them more effectively? So we remove items that we don't need and we can then extrapolate out items that are more important. Number six is to review it. So we're going to go through our outline, we're going to review it, and we're going to look at, okay, well, does this really link together? Does this, does point number two, should it come after point number one, or should we flip them around? Would that be more effective? And so we're starting to reorganize our speech. And then we go into number seven, which is simply create your speech and practice it. So that is the best way I have found to create a speech outline, is to brain dump, do your research, gather your content all together, organize it into a rough speech outline, remove the stuff we don't need, review it, start to organize it even better, and then we're going to create and we're going to practice our speech. So by create, I mean that we're going to extrapolate out our stories, how are we exactly going to tell that story, how are we exactly going to tie this point in with that point, how are we going to do the transitions from one part of the speech to the other. How am I going to introduce it? What sentence do I want to use to close it? Am I going to use a call of action? All of these different questions we're going to ask and we're going to create our speech in full. We're then going to practice it. Delivering my speech. This is me delivering my speech. I don't know why it looks like I'm running, but we will then deliver our speech, practice it in the privacy of your own home, film yourself on video, watch yourself back, practice in the mirror, do it in front of your family but practice, make sure that everything flows, make sure that it all works well, and then we should be ready to deliver our speech. And if we need notes, we need cue cards, we can then take that outline and use that as a reference point for our speech. I've got my outline right here, just, it's really a messy writing, but I've got my, all my points, that might have been a mirrored image, but I've got all my points there. And so that's my speech outline, it's just seven points, and that's what I'm gonna talk about. And I create the introduction, think about the introduction before, and think about the conclusion before, and then wrap it up at the end. So there you have it, the seven steps to create a public speaking speech outline. Go out now, start your brain dump, and then start creating your speech. I hope that this has helped you. If you want more video, videos, articles, and audio podcasts just like this one, then head over to publicspeakingpower.com and I hope that you've enjoyed this and that it's helped you become a more powerful public speaker.